Another protest tonight over President-elect Donald Trump. Demonstrators in Norfolk cited his rhetoric and his recent cabinet appointments. It's the third march in Hampton Road since the election. As Center on Your Side's Joe Fisher reports, many say they're finding it tough preparing for a Trump presidency. No Trump! No KKK! Condemning racism and promoting inclusiveness. Not my president! Not my president! About 80 protesters chanted while marching Friday night through Ghent. When people protest, um, it's because their voices have been uh, silenced and they have no other means to express themselves than to come out and yell. Many say they're standing up for minorities and voicing dissatisfaction with President-elect Donald Trump's controversial rhetoric that got him elected. I think it's not a Republican-Democrat type of thing. It's that somebody who most Americans feel is a terrible human being is now the leader of our country. The nonviolent protest was sponsored by the Hampton Roads Justice Network, an anti-oppression group. I'm very skeptical that a Trump administration will continue policies of, of raising people out of poverty, providing opportunities to inner cities. Who streets? Who streets? streets? Many people holding signs as they made their way down Collie Avenue. Also, it says, "Hand over the toothbrush, Trump." It's a joke that um, we leftists have, where people think that socialism is going to make everybody share a toothbrush. So. Some people question the protesters' purpose. But I don't think the protests around the country breaking windows and stuff's really helping out at all. I think it's more dividing people. The election might be over, but these protesters say they won't tolerate Trump. He can't ignore us. He is going to have to deal with the will of the people. And we were live on Facebook during that protest. More than 600 people commented on Facebook, and we wanted to share some with you here. Heather wrote, uh, keep, Margaret wrote, keep it up to those protesters. A lot of people wanting to know if many of those protesters even voted. Uh, more of those comments are coming up. Jay Hughes writes, the media should stop covering these protests, just giving them more fuel, talking about us covering those protests. And as they continue, Brian writes, not a Trump supporter, but what are these people hoping to accomplish? Even if your end game is to do away with the Electoral College, it's not going to change the results of the past election. Again, more than 600 people weighing in on Facebook. We want to hear your opinion, too. Head to our Facebook page, Wavy TV 10, where we're monitoring those comments right now. I'm Joe Fisher, 10 on your side.